Hi, I'm the Franchise King, Joel Labava. In today's video, I'm going to talk about downsizing and my experience with downsizing when I was a teenager and also later in life. You'll see why this is important in a moment. First of all, I'd love if you would uh, subscribe below. Just click the subscribe button. And if you click the bell, you'll get notified every time I publish a new, hopefully helpful video. Let's get back into it now. My, f my late father, Jerry, was downsized several times, actually. He was in uh, uh, sales uh, in the beauty business. And the, the time that I remember the most was, it was around 1980. And that's when interest rates were like 20%, maybe more, am I, am I thinking, maybe 25%. Uh, companies all over the country were downsizing. Uh, people couldn't afford payments for anything. Businesses were hurting. And I was about, I guess I was probably a junior in high school when it happened. And I remember how sad and how angry my dad was. And it affected our household. It was really depressing. And it was actually a little scary. Um, it took him a little while to find a job. But I, I remember that feeling as a teenager. Uh, it was really uncomfortable. It was unsettling. Uh, it, it really made me full of fear for those, I don't know, it was probably two months, maybe three months. And I remember uh, my mother and father were, were definitely arguing more. Um, things were definitely intense more. We had to buckle down on our savings. I mean, we weren't high rollers at all. Uh, we were definitely middle class, but um, it, was, it was pretty intense. The reason I'm bringing up downsizing is um, Google just downsized a bunch of people. A lot of big tech companies are doing downsizing. I just talked to uh, someone who's in the tech industry in the recruiting end of it, and he said business is not good for recruiters in tech because people are just getting laid off and downsized and fired, and they aren't being replaced. Uh, this is a problem. Um, so when you become downsized, when you're an ex-employee, it really, I, I need to remind you that it affects the entire family big time. You might be feeling sad and angry, but it affects the kids no matter what age. Uh, there's just a general tenseness in the house. Uh, the last time I was downsized was actually about 23 years ago because as LinkedIn just informed me, I'd been in business 23 years uh, in franchising. Kind of cool. But about 23 years ago, uh, I was in the automotive franchise industry in management, and I was downsized. Now, let me rephrase that. I was, I was fired. Um, and, and I guess I kind of knew it was coming eventually, but it was a really bad situation. I was in a very dysfunctional uh, automotive franchise situation. was terrible. Uh, I, I don't want to get into it, but... Um, I remember the day that uh, I was called into one of the offices and it wasn't even the GM who downsized me. It was like another manager or something. And uh, he told me my services would no longer be needed and I'm out of there. So I remember carrying my like briefcase overnight bag, the stuff that I kept my, my business uh, uh, tools and papers and stuff in. And... Because I had a company car at the time, and even though they offered me, they, they offered to, you know, let me keep it for a week or so, I was like, nah, I don't want to keep this car. I don't want the liability. So I went to my car, got the key, handed it to them, and took my little daughter's, who was like four or five at the time, her, her infant car seat, her car seat, and I marched uh, uh, back over to my desk and called my father to come pick me up. How embarrassing. But I just, I didn't want that company car. But the feeling I had when that happened, I never want to experience it uh, again. My, my daughter was really young. Um, and although my wife worked, I mean, a big chunk of income was just like gone. And uh, it was unsettling. I was angry. I was sad. And here's what I told myself. I never want to feel that way again. And, and I also knew at that moment what I didn't want to do. And what I didn't want to do was work for anyone, especially anyone in any company that was screwed up as that one ever again. 
um, uh, I, I also, in a deeper way, felt that I didn't want to be an employee anymore, uh, that I wanted more freedom and more control. And that's how I came upon franchising, because my late father really hammered on me to join his franchise consulting firm. He was a franchise broker, one of the first franchise brokers in the country. And I joined him. I became a franchise broker for about seven, eight years, went out on my own, and I'm not a broker anymore. I do this now. I am an advisor. I help people figure out how to choose and research franchise opportunities that they could own in, in a safe way, in a very safe way, without getting a, a big fat commission in the background as a broker. So anyway, I, 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 it's less about, about the broker part, but more about you know, that feeling that you, that you have when you're downsized and the feeling that your kids and your, and your family has and how tense it is and, and that you never have to feel that way again. And nor does your family if you become the owner of your own business. Just a thought. I'm the Franchise King, Joel Abava. Thank you for watching this video and please subscribe.